Welcome back. Now, Kolhapur is hosting the national championship after a gap of three years. Some of the drivers have forgotten what it's like to drive here. And for some, it's a completely new track. It is also a supremely challenging 1.2 kilometers to drive on. Will the drivers be up for the challenge? Or will the track get the better of them? Let's find out. What a fight we're having out here. Contact there. Vishnu and Chitesh on the racing line with each other. We will go to see Chitesh, but he's going to get on the offensive. He'll take the leader again. Chitesh takes it again. After metric tons of drama in the pre-final races and the heats, where the drivers went all out trying to secure the top slots on the grid and hold the advantage, it was time for the moment of truth. The first final race of round 3 was the Micromax category, where Yash Aradhyay had seemed formidable in the first two rounds. And Yash carried forward his form to round 3, winning both the heats and the pre-final races. The Mecco racing driver led the final race from the start and looked set for another victory. But he had a determined Paul Francis breathing down his neck, bumper inches away. And Paul began closing the gap steadily. And then he pulled this off. In the very last lap of the race, on the very last corner, Francis saw a gap open up and dived in stealing a victory right from under Aradhya's nose and taking the checkered flag. And while this fight was going on up front, Shahan Ali, who was served an unfortunate technical disqualification and began his race from the end of the grid, overtook eight drivers and finished a respectable third. Given a few more laps, the lad looked like he would have given both Francis and Aradhya a run for their money. My aim was to get a podium in this race and on the last lap, it was very difficult to overtake Aditya. He made a mistake and I got a chance to overtake him. On the left-hander over there, um, I went out a bit by defending a lot, so I had to break late and then went out and Paul just made an amazing move and he surprised me and he just went. And I tried to catch up, but it was the last lap. It was a monstrous task of catching up to Yash and I thought, well, I still had hope. And I pushed as hard as I could and on the last lap, I managed to make a move. Kushmani of Dark Dawn Racing drove with clinical precision in the final of the Junior Max category and maintained his stellar form from the heats and the pre-final races. He was a comfortable winner over BPC Racing's Ricky Donison and Rayo Racing's Aurora Bindra. Donison gave Manny a tough fight as usual and tried very hard to catch up with the more experienced Manny. But in the end, it was all in vain, as Donison proved to be no match for Manny's blistering speed. Manny also extended his lead at the top of the championship points table. Push! Manny, everybody, put your hands together. Come on, Kora Boot! Managed to get close to him at the start and stay with him for like a few laps, get the fastest lap. But again, he, was, he had more consi better consistency than me and off the corners, like my setup wasn't as good as his. So when I was in the grid, everyone was on new tires and I was like, oh, this is going to be hard. But then I, I said, okay, then champions never give up. So let's drive and let's see what happens. Every time I pulled off a gap, they would take a little pressure off me. And that time has a little breathing space. But when I went past the line, it was like amazing feeling. Former national champion Amir Bafna of Rayo Racing was recovering from a bout of malaria when he came to the Kolhapur track for round three. After hard-fought bouts in the pre-finals, Bafna secured the third starting position on the grid. And in the highly competitive Senior Max category, the action begins right from the start. Local track hero Chitesh Mundodi of Moites Racing suffered a broken tyre rod in the very first lap. And Bafna capitalised and jumped into the lead. Over the next 20 laps of the race, Bafna held the lead convincingly and he didn't even come close to relinquishing it to Rayo Racing teammate Nayan Chatterjee who was having a hard time keeping Mecco Racing's Vishnu Prasad at bay. The local crowd after Mandodi's unfortunate incident was further let down as Dhruv Mohite, who drove an aggressive pre-final race to finish second after starting in 11th place, could not repeat his form in the final and had to settle for 4th place. 
finals, yeah, starting fourth, I always knew I was going to, you know, drop a place or two because starting from the outside, I mean, it's almost impossible to keep your place. And Nayan passed me, so did uh, Rahul, and I managed to make up uh, one place and come back to fourth. Uh, after that, me and Dhruv kept fighting, tried to catch up to Nayan and Ame. Uh, Chitesh had a bad accident uh, in the, the stuff luck to him. Uh, but finally, we couldn't, but I managed to make a move on Dhruv and finish third. Hi, Mokchi, and this is Ron Four and Kola Four, Mohit's racing track. After having had considerable track time on the Kola circuit and learning the tricks of getting their setup right, the drivers of the 11th JK Tyre Rotax Max National Karting Championship returned once again to Kolhapur for Round 4. As usual, the first final was the Micromax category Tykes fighting out brake pad and throttle in their bid to gain racing glory. Yasharadya of Meko Racing was in the lead, being chased down by Paul Francis and Shahan Ali. But at the back of the grid, this happened. Eight-year-old Kunal Vinod lost control of his cart and crashed into the tyre wall and flipped close to race control. The race was red flagged and Aradhya, who was in the lead, was declared the winner. Kunal was unhurt owing to the high safety standards at the championship. He was left a little shaken after the incident. Okay, okay. Yeah, you're okay? You're perfectly fine. Kunal and Shirak drove very well, but in the finals, um, they showed their red flag and they do some racing incident by, uh, by Kunal. So, I was leading the race, so they, con they showed the red flag and half of the race was done, so I was considered as a winner. Started the finals from 5th uh, because of the collision in the pre-final, but I had a good start. I uh, was focusing on defending Chirag also because he was also behind me and uh, it was very difficult to defend him. And, uh, but in the red flag, uh, the race was finished uh, before 4 laps. Push as hard as you can, get the best results of qualifying heats and the finals. In the Junior Max category, Championship leader Kush Maini had just returned fresh from the Karting World Championship after securing a respectable fourth place. He was in top form and the Dark Dawn Racing driver was all set to decimate all competition. But at the Kolapur track, setup was everything and in the end, a faster cart would matter. BPC Racing's Ricky Donison had been giving many hard fights since the start of the season and this time was no different. Donison flew ahead of Manny to take the lead and the ghost of Hyderabad came back to haunt the lad. Manny could do little as Donison drove brilliantly to increase his lead and take the checkered flag. Manny may have retained the championship lead, but after the final race of round 4, Donison had little to prove as far as racing prowess was concerned. My mechanic, we've been working on my consistency all weekend, getting like every lap, you know, every time the same every lap and well, it paid off. I was, wasn't that consistent yesterday, but today I went out, every lap was the same time and my mechanic was, he was telling me to, you know, that the calmer you are when you're driving, the more consistent you are and you know, that's how you win a race. And I had to start last 15th and uh, first corner I messed up and I was still 15th by a long way so that one lap was already gone there which made the difference and then I was catching, 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 overtook everyone on track, there was no incidents and I came second. I mean, racing with these guys also give me a lot of experience because they are quite hard to race with and they are very competitive. So it's quite hard. It's a, it's a new good thing that they are there. Otherwise, what's the point of having a race <laughs> when there's no one with you to have a competition? Kolapur boy Chitesh Mandodi was in dominant form over the weekend and he retained it in the final race. This was his home track. And here, the already formidable driver was at his racing best. These were the racing lines he grew up with. They had been perfected and then some more. Here, he could drive blindfolded and still be hard to beat. And he proved as much in the Senior Max final race. Lower down the grid, Mandodi's teammate Dhruv Mohite was having a turbulent spell all through the pre-finals. Mohite started fifth on the grid for the finals and battled his way to the third spot. And behind him, Rayo Racing's Nayan Chatterjee was in hot pursuit. Chatterjee began piling on the pressure after 15 laps and Mohite was having trouble holding him off.
Both lads went bumper to bumper in the last two laps before Chatterjee in a last ditch attempt tangled with Moite in the final lap and spun out. Moite had a clear drive to the checkered flag, but protests were filed by both teams and the drivers were later penalized 10 seconds each by the clerk of the course for attempting to force the other driver off the track and Mohite lost precious championship points. It worked well for Rio Racing as it gave their driver and championship leader Amir Bafna a huge lead in the points tally. Non-intentionally, I got a big bump which forced me a little out of the track. Uh, he made a move which I knew it's the last lap. So I could have taken him anywhere. Uh, but uh, if I would have blocked him, we both would have gone out. So I decided to join him. But as you know, it's a fast shikin and if you taking it from inside, you got to be slow. So he slowed down and there was an impact which forced him out of the track, which was not intention uh, from me, which was also cleared with the COC some time back. But uh, I guess I managed through. And as I said, I was expecting him, but not in this way. In the fifth round, we can see a nail-biting finish if uh, everybody uh, keeps their uh, cards intact and nobody has a DNF or nobody has a mechanical problem. Because it's so close, you know, it could be anybody's game. Um, and I think we'll have definitely have a nail-biting finish in the final round. And that brings us to the end of the Kolapur round, like I said earlier. And with the Kolapur boys, we'll see you in Wysak. The JK Racing Championship is one of the most prestigious racing championships in the Indian motorsport calendar. The series is in its 17th year now and has the distinction of being the starting round for some of India's most talented and illustrious racing drivers. I don't think there's an uh, there's an, another parallel example anywhere in the world where there's a sponsor who's carried a sport on its shoulder for 17 long years. 